Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on input options for generalized linear mixed models in JASP. In the previous video, we saw how we can fit model terms for GLMMs, select a family and link functions. We also saw the model drop-down menu where we can select or deselect fixed effects, add or exclude interaction terms. And here we also have a very convenient option to specify random effects. In the options drop down menu, we have options where the model summary can be spec can be obtained and the fixed effects estimates can also be obtained. The plots drop down option provides specific functions to obtain publication ready plots with color, shape and line type being the defining features for each level of factors. In this case, we don't have sufficient information to produce a plot in JASP. So we will leave this and not dabble with it. The estimated marginal means drop down menu provides options to specify variables for which we want our least squares means or estimated marginal means. We can adjust the p-value if we are comparing multiple levels. So pairwise comparisons for multiple levels. We can specify contrasts and we can edit contrasts. We can play with contrasts and get different types of contrasts however we wish, wish. The estimated trends or conditional slopes drop down menu functions in a similar way as the EMM drop down option in the sense that we can specify a trend variable and factors and we can get estimated slopes. We can compare slopes for two different two or more different levels of a factor using contrasts and we can adjust the p-value for multiple comparisons. In the next video, we will briefly have a look at the output generated by JASP for GLMMs. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.